morning. Welcome to another juicy vlog. George, where are you? I'm here. We gotta go. Why the car's here. Sitting like a weirdo in the hallway doing <laughs> nothing. We gotta nothing. go. The car's here. The car. I need to grab the drone, and then we're off. We're in a rush. Don't leave that one. Don't leave that one. Oh. So many switches in this blooming flat. Hope you're all doing good. We are off to a lunch. Are they actually here? Yeah. Are they actually there? Yes. Later on in this video, we're gonna show you what's inside this box. It says the juicy vlog on it. I don't know if this number is important or if you should know it or not. Can we, we show them that? Actually, gotta go. We gotta go. I'm busy. Right now. I'm busy. No, we've got to go. I'm busy. There's a car waiting for us. We need to go. In this video, we're also going to be showing you how we edit our Instagrams and how you can get an Instagram no, no, theme. We've got to go. Which is so important, but we've got to we've go. We've got to go. And something in this box, as Lucy hey, said, is very, very important for this video. But we can't open it now. We've got to You're go. Such a hypocrite. We've got to go. You're such a hypocrite. We've got to go. We've cut from the same club, we're from the same type of neighborhood. One of the main questions Lucy and I get asked is how do you take your Instagram photos, how do you edit your Instagram photos, and how do you keep up a theme? So if, you're, if you've stumbled across this video, you might be looking to make a theme yourself, and it's actually not that difficult. You just need to make sure all your kind of photos are taken in a similar sort of way, but more importantly, the editing. It's the kind of, we don't actually use filters, but it's the kind of look over your filters when you're scrolling through your feed that you want to get looking similar. So we will show you all of that in this video. But right now we're off for a pub lunch because, well, we live in England and it's Sunday. So that's what people do on a Sunday in England. And People in the olden days were a lot shorter. This is the kind of houses that they were used to and accustomed to. And then we kind of grew. Come in Heavenfield to the White Hart for some lunch with George's family. Mm. And they should be inside now because we're running a bit late. As always. As always. I'm not going mad. Yes. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Are you full? Mm -hmm. Nice meal. Mm -hmm. home now from an amazing lunch. I swear you can't beat a roast dinner on a Sunday. Do you agree? Sorry, Lucy's here as well. Hello. Yeah, I had a cool pudding. I had, I've never had it, like a scoop of ice cream with an espresso in a little jug thing. Pour it on top. It was delicious. We went with some family on my dad's side and they're actually actors. And Malcolm is in a show very soon. Here it is, Shackleton's Carpenter it's called. You should definitely check it out. I'll you leave saw it in. last year? I saw it last year. Very good. But now it is time to show you guys what is in this box. It says the juicy vlog on the side. And it's something we really don't want today. No, this is actually really bad timing for what these are. So Lucy and I are lucky enough to live right by the beach guys which is amazing for photos. So we've come down here and we've, we're actually using this camera that we film on with a different lens to take our photos. So if you're interested we shoot on the GH5 Panasonic. It's a, oh what is it? It's a 25 millimeter lens. It's the Micro Four Third system, so it's actually like a Canon 50 mil lens. Really pleased to have the photos have turned out. Uh, we normally take maybe like five to ten photos to get the shot. Sometimes if it's like if we're, there's lots going on or things like sometimes it can be a few more than that But it takes like a bit of patience isn't it from each other to actually keep snapping away and like not Yeah, get annoyed at each other. <laughs> but like if my hair is on my face and I'm like do it again Like you, you just have to do that because of it being the real world um, So we're gonna get back now pop the photos into Lightroom and then show you guys that secret slider to get that orange and teal effect Honestly, this is absolutely genius Right, so we're in Lightroom now and I've got all the pictures along here I've gone into the folder and selected the ones that I want to use and you can see them along the bottom here. So I'll edit these all up, um, but I'll just show you one now. So I want to go for this one just because there's loads of different colours in it and I think it will show quite well like how we do this editing thing. So I start off just by cropping the photo. And where is it? This one here is the Instagram measurement and I want to get the shoes in so we'll crop the sky down. Actually, maybe just a little bit more and done. And then before I start playing around the colour, I'll always do the sort of exposure and things. So generally, the exposure I'll bring down a little bit. Oh, actually, maybe maybe up on this one. Honestly, it varies so much photo to photo. 
I really like adding clarity in things as well, which I think is really important. Because often, if I, because um, what I used to do is I used to put the highlights up, the whites up, and bring the shadows and blacks down. I kind of do it the other way around now, and then bring the clarity up. So you can see there, it kind of gives it that bit more sort of raw effect, I suppose, which I really like. But I will bring the white up a little bit. Right. Now we've got that base, let me just bring this up, because as you've seen, if, if you've seen my Instagram, you'll know that I love bright colours, but if we go down now, this bit at the bottom is the main part, so red primary and blue primary, and we're going to play around with hues here, so if we start by lifting this one up, you'll realise it still doesn't look right, the orange and teal, but this is your absolute must-have. This slide down here, you can see, it's too much there, but it literally brings out... It makes the green go from green to more sort of yellowy and orange. And it makes the blue go much more aqua, you can see. So I won't bring it all the way down, but I'll bring it quite far down. And then if we go back up here, you've then got all the different colours here. And you can go into each one. So if we go to blue, I want to make it a bit more aqua -y, but it is way too bright. So then I'm going to bring the saturation down. Just there. And then the orange one, I often bring the luminance down. As I said, it varies case by case, but I think we need a bit more brightness in there. But you can see already, like, the colour difference is crazy. The aqua is still very bright, though, so I will bring that down again. And you can see it has, like, totally changed the look of the photo. I think that's the best bit seeing it like side by side there because it's so blue before and then another little tool we like to use this little sort of torch icon up here George will know what it's actually called you can see here if you just a big blotch in the middle oh wow that looks quite cool but <laughs> you can um, sort of highlight the whole thing but if you literally see where the sun's coming from over here and start from the outside just sort of touching lightly on it you can see it's starting to bring some lightness into it. That's too much, but you can sort of pick up bits of light from around the photo and it's almost like putting some lens flare into the picture. Maybe that's too much as well. But yeah, you can see there, it kind of just makes it look a bit better, but there you go. That's how you get the orange and teal. So there we go. That's how we edit our Instagram photos. Hope that helps some of you who had been asking us about that. If you've got any more questions on how we edit or anything to do with Lightroom or the cameras we use and the lenses just drop a comment below and we'll be sure to answer your questions but yes. thanks for watching today guys i'm boiling it's hot in it it's really hot we're still in the heat wave in the uk it rained like yesterday but it's come back full pelt um yeah i need a cool shower cool shower a cool shower it's all cold shower a cool shower we'll see oh you. god sweaty yeah there. i know that's right, what i mean end it quickly we'll see you guys shower. very soon thanks for watching bye, bye. Like, subscribe, bye.